tēnā tātou e te iwi ko ngā whānau o Aotearoa uh, nau mai, hoki mai ki te kemu whakamutunga o tēnei rā uh, he kemu o ngā tāne tēnei uh, o ngā tīma Shirley Boys High School ki a John McGlashan College uh, a great matchup here from down south um, in my opinion a, a great matchup also of the two coaches we have Paul Piawini um, from the Touch Blacks um, setup. We also have on the opposing side of John McGlashan, Damien Burden, the mixed Touch Blacks coach. What do you think we've got in store for us here today, Maya? I don't know because these guys have got all the tricks in the world and the teams they have, just looking at them physically, look like they've got all the physical gifts that they could ever want. So this should be a humdinger. Two schools more predominantly known for rugby, I might suggest. Um, but definitely uh, with John McGlashan anyway. I've seen them a couple of times at Nationals um, doing really, really well. What I can expect that this will be end-to-end. This will be super quick. Um, I'm not sure how much of it will be fleet-footed stuff in the middle. I think it's just going to be all-out speed, um, big, long, beautiful passes, backdoor plays and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to this game. I think it's a perfect game to finish the day with for us. This isn't the last round of the tournament final. Sorry, of, of, of today, uh, but it is of our live stream, game six of six, and a humdinger to finish. We've had five really primo games. No, absolutely, Maya, and and what a game to finish with, um, an absolute battle that we're about to have. Um, very much looking forward to it. As you said, we've got some great lineups coming up here, as we see on screen, the Shirley boys, Burke, Costley, Deganum, Edwards, Hearn, Atkinson, Newton, Burgess, Bolton, Sulu, Boyd, Tulio, uh, Bun, Stevenson, Lee and Hooper and of course our coach Paura Piawini. Kia ora Paura. There he is there. Oh, just stepped out of the box. Passed his last words of wisdom on. He's actually carrying the water bottles. That's unusual. <laughs> Far out, branching out. Different way. <laughs> As we see there's John McGlashan team and many of the superstars in this team also. Liam Barron, be interested to see how he plays today. We've got a Xavier Patterson there, number 15, and Connor Bond. And then you talked about the coach, Damien, Damien Burden. Oh, I was just about to say Damien O'Connor. Damien O'Connor, <laughs> rugby league for Manly. That's, you weren't even born when he was <laughs> Our referees there, we've got our three referees again. Another real strong trio. I think I said in game three of our live stream, this would be one of the strongest, and we just got stronger and stronger. Tony are now one of the top three referees in New Zealand, year in, year out, out there leading this crew, supported with Tanisha Gill and Thomas Pilkington. I oh, used to say an up-and-coming superstar, but he's been very good for a long time and continues to be so. So this should be perfect referees for this type of game to go into end. They should keep them apart, really flowing touch, and be really close down in that touchdown line to make sure that we make the right decisions. And we have Tony Arnell kicking us off for this first game. Uh, sorry for this. Last game of our coverage today is John McGlashan, tap it off, working their way down. Again, not, not quite the intensity that we've seen with the Palmerston North boys. Just going through their process, know what they're up to. Oh, and the ball just goes to the ground there. But as we see, I'm sure we're going to get some absolute amazing skills on display here, as well as just an absolute clinic based on uh, sportsmanship, as well as just complete skill set throughout the field as the two coaches will be big on um, all the zero, uh, zeroing in on the on the main aspects of the game, the one percenters, all the small details that we tend to take for granted as we see the seven here straight through into the end goal and the first try on the board was Milan Newton straight through into the end goal. If you can get your yards right, your attack so much easier, isn't it? As we've seen the Shirley Boys High School team just the transition was beautiful. They come down, nice set up in the middle. As you said, Newton gets through. He's actually had two or three options. So it was great from his support players. He picks the right one. First set on attack, touchdown. The John McGlashan, get ready because the Shirley boys are here to play. Yeah, the ball going out the back door there. A little bit of a no-looker. A great assist there early on for Newton as we see another turnover forced and Shirley boys look to come strong out of their half. There must be a wet patch there because that's the second time in a row that the ball's been slipped over. Slipped over. What even is that? <laughs> the ball slipped out of their hands. Nice yards again. That's the third touch. Good D. Good step up there from the six. Was he offside? Offside, yep. It was that good. He was offside. 
unfortunately there. Otherwise, that halted the momentum there from the Shirley Boots. Yeah, and that's what we tend to see when we have such powerful yardage coming through uh, on that subbing play there from Shirley Boys. They really dominated that ruck, and they were just too quick on their feet and caught them offside. We see a 33 platform coming down, 14 coming down the lane. Is we have Tavita Tulio, the Ghana and Edwards here working together. As we see, ooh, just pulled out. Yeah, that's really smart play. That's just good IQ, right? If you, if you know what the game of touch is about down in the end, you know what referees are really trying to achieve with the defensive teams. You just pull out. He got that penalty there. As we see the 14 go back. Oh, Edwards, beautiful long ball. Out to the wing. We surely dot down for their second try. Didn't quite catch the number there, Sean. Yeah, and no, I think we've had Stevenson, Walter Stevenson, dot down on the left wing there for Shirley. A great finish. And a great ball there too, and I'm sure there is going to be many more to come down this left wing side here for Stevenson. 2-0. John McGlashan just need to clean up the areas down here. The defense has been not too bad. It's been some hot attack from the Shirley boys on the try line, but if they can get this part right, I'm telling you, we need to stop the game so we can go oh, check I that know. bit of grass. There is absolutely a gremlin hiding in that grass that is just tipping that ball out. Without a doubt, unfortunately, John McLashan just turning the ball over there on their attack set again. We're still yet to see a strike from them, but very much looking forward to it. As we see Shirley boys coming through the field at great pace. It seems to have only just gotten faster, and again, a great covering touch. Touch is made. Costly to Newton. Newton put on the gas, and that was beautiful defense. Good recovery there. Is there almost in all sorts there to John McLashan, as we see here. Costly drops in. Newton gives it back, steps back, passes it back to Newton. Running, drawing pass, and great cover from the number five. Come all the way over from the middle there, the number five. Nick Casey from John McGlash and just saved his team from going 3 0 down. Here we go. We talked about one of those power scoops. Yeah, so we've so been showing a little bit of speed there from the number nine of John McGlash, and I'm sure that'll come out again in a, a fair little while. As we see Shirley Boys coming up the field in this close left-hand tram line. I often find myself talking about the transition area of the game. And uh, for me, that's such a big thing as a coach. But I, I think going back to my reference, as we see the three here getting into the touchdown zone. Did he get it off? When refereeing, the teams who are really good through the transition area, they always won pretty much. And that was the hardest part, the referee. So I think that's one of the reasons it's the focus. Here we go. This is... Really what the John McGlashan College needed. Yeah, and I think as you say, the, the game is most definitely won throughout the field. And we've seen a lot of teams that have dominated today, especially out here, that have really won that sort of middle 50% of the field. And that has gone on to reflect in, in the scoreboard as well. As we see John McGlashan coming into their line, hoping to see some good attack here, as we haven't been able to see too much as of yet. Zach Cunningham, twinkle toes, nearly got in there. I'm liking how they went to a different part of the grass. They, <laughs> they could obviously tell there's something wrong there too. But here, watch this. Let's just not talk and watch this beautiful transition here from Shirley Boys. Fourth touch every time, down towards the 10, flowing into it. Someone's just run on from the box. The defense is going backwards while the attack is going forwards. And as we see Burgess coming off the back of some great yards there, we spoke about good platforms being set, and you are only as good as a ball player. You're only as good as the platform that gets set for you. As we see a great play come through the middle here, numbers open up, and unfortunately the ball just goes to the ground. But great defense coming off the left wing by Alex Walker of John McLash in there. Second time in a row Alex Walker's saved two certain touchdowns. Great defense there from Alex Walker. Definitely what his team needs. They need a good transition here, and they're really going to need to step their defense up against this Shirley boys team. One way to not let them have yards is just to give them the ball down in the attacking no, exactly, zone. Yeah. They won't get their flow on. This will be a great test for the Glenn McGla John McGlash, and my apologies. As we see a mistake, unforced error by Shirley boys. Not very common, not what we've seen from them so far. They'll be a little bit gutted with that, I'd say, as their own standards. Oh, we see a bit of a break here. Nick Casey, he's got, not only got the gun show going, he just showed us how quick he was. Oh, is he what? Did you see that front-on shot and his guns bulging <laughs> out? No, very quick. As we see, again, the number nine, Alex coming on for John McGlashan. 
He seems to be a bit of a threat as he gets the ball back. Looks for the low game. Well defended there by Shirley Boys. Two to go. I really want to set something up here. So we see Oaks bringing it back to the middle. That, <laughs> no way. Wow. That little goosey did remind me of when you play rugby and you touch warm up you have before. And oh, absolutely. One person runs across all 15 of you yeah. and goes to the other side. But obviously he knew what he was doing, Alex, as we see here in the Bunnings replay, just running across, linking up with his link, gets the ball back, draw and pass, and that winger come out of nowhere for a nice try. Yeah, no, that's the sort of footy you see coming straight from the backyard with your brothers and your sisters back when you are a kid. The pass and wrap, the sneaky try in the corner, and a great finish as well. 2-1, bit of a momentum shift, and now they've got a penalty. Good set of D by John McGlashan, bringing themselves back into this game. Um, Shirley boys are going to really step up here. I can see them getting ready. Just looking at the live shots straight out to the field. Much better set here from John McGlashan. Going to have to have a strike from a long way up. So we see Alex come back on the field. I'm sure he's going to take a scoot out of the half here. Look to get into the end goal. Uses footwork. And there he goes. Straight through into the end goal. Can he find someone? Plenty of time on the ball. Oh, he's setting up tries for fun. There he goes again. The <laughs> finger goes again, doesn't it? <laughs> I want him just to set up tries to see his moves after oh, it. Oh, no, huh? absolutely. No, we, we saw that coming. We could see him coordinating the platform that he wanted, the look that he wanted. He got through into the end goal, probably with a little bit of ease there. Thought that was the, the dead ball line, fooled. But we're playing to the black lines today, and he gets the ball away well. And a great finish right in that left-hand corner there as we see it come to a piece. It's ironic how in such a dynamic, fast-moving game that patience is such a key. And he had bucket loads of it there. He wasn't rushing to try and find the closest person. Just waited until someone was free. Really good setup. Two all. We've got a game on our hands here, Sean. No, absolutely. And I knew that we would right from the get-go, given the calibre of coaching and as well as a little bit of a derby from the South Island down there. And uh, really looking forward to seeing how this game pans out as we see the John McClashen boys working through the half, a power scoop from the middle of the field through Cunningham. Quick hands. Oh. oh, hard luck there. <laughs> I tell you what, the number 14 from John McGlashan, Jackson Thompson, the range of his strides. The, yes. the defender was doing three steps to his one, and he was just going for it. Oh, no, exactly. It, it does pay, and we've seen in the previous game of Palmerston North Boys, we saw a few big units there too, probably rugby players based on my pick of the, the, the muscles that they had packing out of those singlets, but... Um, Good to see how nimble and stable and just seriously talented athletes we've got out here on show. Some great footwork there from the number 18, Hooper. Of Shirley Boyd, unfortunately, not going the way he would have liked. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but the Shirley boys look a lot better when they're coming off their own defensive scoreline. And I think they're just so well drilled in whatever their transition leads them into on attack. And because they have so much momentum and they flow into that attack, that... It seems to be almost like when they get the ball turned over in the attacking half, it's not quite as fluent. So that'd be interesting to see if there's anything to that. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think they seem to pride themselves quite well on their exit as we see the change over here. We hear their box really start to get quite vocal about their sub play coming off here. And I'm sure the guys coming on are the ones that are really leading that chat there. We see the reinforcements coming in on the bottom right of the screen here. I know that they'll be wanting a great platform for a power scoop here. Quickie, about 10 out, footwork, and a great touch there to finish the set. John McGlashan will be happy with that defensive stop. Yeah, not quite as accurate there from Shirley Boys, but more of that uh, momentum going into that attack, but unfortunately, uh, just uh, quite the accuracy in the passes and good defense. McGlashan, John McGlashan definitely got themselves back into this game, into the speed of this game. Commentator's curse right there. Yep, first hand. I'm still waiting for my one to happen, but I know it'll come shortly as we see the Shirley Boys just inside the half on the 10 metre line there. They'll be looking to get a strike in about touch three on the on the 7 metre line and try execute just before the half. Good defence again there from John McClashan. Good lift from the number four, Liam Barron. Two to go in this set. The number one, giving directions where to go. Oh, oh, was it? 
Thought it was going to be a play through touchdown there. A great move coming off the back of a great set there from Shirley. Unfortunately, unable to capitalise. Great defence from John McGlashan as we see them trans. Ooh. Unfortunately, the call not quite going their way there. Nick Casey, a really, really good defender. He saved that try all the way coming across earlier on in, the, in this half. He's out there again. He's lifted right up high the number five. We see him there, just dropping back under his teammate. Would make this touch. Good work there. He's a real workhorse. You can just see him. Physical specimen, Nick Casey. Yeah, partnered well in the middle there with Zach Cunningham. Uh, we'll look to see them two be quite a defensive partnership. Unfortunately, not good enough to match the attack of Shirley Boys as they get another dot down just before the half. They will be happy with that, won't they? Yeah, great score there from Kobe Costley. Part of that. Passes it off to the number seven, Milan Newton. Being one of their better attackers, been on the ball quite often in this first half. They really needed that to wrestle some of that momentum back. They went up 2-0 early. John McGlashan came back. And we see here Newton just wrapping around. And look at the space. There's a good two metres either side of him. Great work there. We see John McGlashan on the ball. Go to that same move. Stuck at dummy half. Play on is the call. They look to try set something up here through. Who have we got? We've got... Alex back on the ball. <laughs> yeah. How could I forget that name? <laughs> I was waiting for it. And there it goes again. And this time, not setting up everyone else, taking one for himself. He goes in hard here on the three. Yep, with the Geordie. Low game, too good. The offenders just easing off him. Probably gave him a bit too much time for someone with such hot attack at the moment. Here he is again. Oh. He would have knocked someone out if they were standing yeah. behind him with that back pass. The amount of times I've seen that, someone doing the big one-handed back pass and then someone in the face. And Shirley. as we come back live here, we see a great try from Shirley in the corner there. I'm not sure if we'll get the replay, but it was some seriously impressive skill on the Bunnings Warehouse replay. Yes, we do catch it. He's on the ground. Quick hands out to our winger in the corner and a great finish. Great work there from Burgess, the number eight. He's on the ground, slipped over, caught it, threw it. Good draw and pass. Nice hands from the link. Out for an easy try for the winger. Well, it wasn't that easy. Still had to get there. I think it was number 10. Rain Sulu. We see John McGlashan come to the same side again with that sweep coming on the, on the link there. The ball in the hands of Zach Cunningham. I'm sure he'll look to get a bit of a strike going on here with Oscar Crow. A pick coming potentially. Time on the ball. Great defence there coming from Shirley, boys, in the form of Harry Burke. It's been a really good comeback from John McGlashan. Their first three sets on attack had turnovers. Shirley, boys, really paid, uh, made them pay for that. Got up 2 0 early. They fought back to get back to 2 all. Then we had 3 all. They only get one play the ball here. Really hard to score off this. And there we have the first half of our last live stream game between the Shirley Boys High School and John McGlashan. And Shirley Boys take a 4-3 lead into our first half. Get Christmas ready with our lowest prices. This is the perfect time to set up for Christmas. Lighting can really help make those really special moments. Decorations is to make things look ready. You want to make sure that everything's right. We can help you make it a Christmas to remember. Get the turkey on the Smoker Barbecue, $199. Relax on this timber bench set, $299. Be sun safe with a 2.5 metre market umbrella, $59. When you find a competitor's lower price on the same stock item, we'll beat it by 15%. Lowest prices are just the beginning. Funding is a real challenge. Uh, we know that a lot of schools face that ongoing and the reality is if you go to a lower decile school in New Zealand you are less likely to be able to afford to participate in sport. Obviously having come through it myself with kids and, and being one of those t kids myself who played sport, I know how much it defined who I was. And now being able to go, I can't fix it all but we can help and try and 
give to those people who are going through a really tough time. It's a real privilege, but you know, for us, we want to see others getting involved with it. This is not a selfish thing for Apollo. This is about how can we get, um, whether it's construction or other businesses, to get involved in this. There's a lot of things that kids miss out on, and so to have businesses step up and want to be involved and to help is a game changer for schools. It really is. This isn't about printing. It's about better results with over 90 offices right across the country in residential, commercial, and rural. No my hoki my ite iwi ki tenei kemu o nga tane. For Shirley Boys, uh, Kite Kemu or John McGlashan. A uh, bit of a wrap up from half time there, Maya? Yeah, I just snuck out to hear what one of our top coaches in the New Zealand Open system pulled up, had to say, and it was really cool to hear, just really, really simple, just asking the question Boys, our energy, did we achieve it in the first half? Yep, tick. Our comms, what were they like? Yep, tick. And he said, our systematic um, attack is what has been working for us. Let's not go away from it. Let's not go away from something that's working until the other team can stop us. So I really love those comms that he gave. He just made it really simple. They obviously went into this game with three simple targets, and he just asked them, did we hit it? Yep, okay, well, let's keep doing it. And um, with that attack, let's do it even better. So <clears throat> sort of dropped off a bit there and towards that second half of the first half there from Shirley Boys, and I have no doubt after that they'll be rearing to go. And here they are, tapping it off to start us in our last live stream game for day one here at the 2023 Bunnings National Touch Championship. And we have here a nice big long ball. The back pass, it's definitely a rugby pass, that. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. As we see the ball coming from Atkinson in the middle there, the number six, we'll look to see him probably strike again as he seems to be a key player on their attacking set and the penalty blown. You can just see the flags waving around there. The weather has changed a bit. Did we get a touchdown? Again, just another example of that honesty. It's 4-3. They just got back into the game. Could have easily said made the touch and didn't. I really, really take my head off to that. That's even better than the tries he's been setting up. But equally good was the attack for Shirley Boys, as we see here. The number six, giving away a penalty. Got straight into his work here. Luke Atkinson took the tap, got them... Off guard, nice and easy try. Yeah, no, absolutely. And as you say, that honestly is such a massive part of our game. And hat off to him in a trying position, unfortunately not making that touch, and very quick to let everyone know that unfortunately he had missed that touch. Just equally as good the attack, and uh, being very onto it there was our number six, which was Atkinson there. Glashen straight back on attack, good defence. Nice defensive set there, back into their work straight away. Other Shirley boys. Dominating the first period of the halves like they did in the first half. It's the key area that they want. Just a very well-drilled outfit we see uh, as the Shirley boys attacking from your left to right in the blue. Uh, it, I guess it goes back, unfortunately they're an error, but I guess their cohesiveness just goes back to probably a very well-orchestrated environment that uh, Paula is, is creating there with those boys. And as you heard at halftime, some very wise words very lucky those boys are to be playing under such a high caliber coach and I'm sure it has been uh, truly quite spectacular for them to be able to get such great treatment there. Yeah, totally. Both great coaches. Obviously you're coached by one of them and you can just tell in the quality of the game. Ooh, a bit of a call of a no touch there. Yeah, unfortunate they're not to get ball going to hand but a great floater pass that we saw coming off the back of that 32 pick there. Unfortunately, yes, not going to hand but we know that they will come back hot on attack here after this uh, set of attack from Shirley Boys. Fifth touch here, scoop. Goes back to the left, this looks like a bit of ad lib. Here's our man again, scored a try out of nothing just before, and he's done it again almost by himself. The number six from Shirley Boys High School, Luke Atkinson. We see him not really much on, gets the ball. Throws the dummy, uses his speed. Great try. No, as you say there, we probably didn't have much going on, did we? Things fell apart a little bit. Ball back into his hands. And as we said, a very, very large attacking threat there. And dots down. 
almost a carbon copy of the first half, wasn't it? No, absolutely. The Shirley boys getting out to a two try uh, a lead. Obviously, the score's 6 3, but two for this half. We just have John McGlashan here. I really want to hit back again. And the cool thing, like we've seen in the first half, and with the quality of coach that they have, there's no white flag here. They'll be back. They'll be just getting back into their systems. A fresh set now will be really exactly what the doctor ordered. Yeah, as we see, Atkinson just getting in that middle, middle lane there, shutting down that short ball option. Would have been a great try there. No touch called, not played through. Recount. Yeah, going back to that defence there, he was very lucky to get that bat down because we saw a very promising scoop coming through Zach Cunningham, the number three there for John McGlashan. I'm sure he'll be back on the ball again, proceeding through this recount. So we see him split left on his quickie play, defended very well. Numbers all over him there. I know they're playing away from Jackson Thomas, um, but I know I, I'd be really using him. What I saw from him in the first half, I think he's got quality written all over him. Just with his length, with his speed, I think he's the man that I'll be trying to get in some short balls as we see a turnover here again. Bit of ping pong going on. The, the beep test we used to call it in the referee yeah, world. Yeah, absolutely. Potentially a little bit of fatigue starting to set in. Accuracy just becoming a little bit lower here as we see the ball back in the hands of Zach Cunningham. And I'm sure he may look to combine with our 14 on the right link there, Thompson. Defended well there by Shirley Boys. They seem to move in a very tight unit and they are defending very well on this line here. As we see Cunningham coming back on that sweep. Nothing on. Plays in the middle. Thompson through it, dummy half. A big left to right long ball. A great tip in, but very well defended. And that's those effort areas I'm talking about there on that left link position for Shirley Boys. It's very easy. Once your job's done and that, that long ball gets thrown over your head, it's very easy to become complacent and think that your job's over. But to chase out and make sure that that tip-in pass um, is well defended, my hat off to him. A very, very good defensive stop there. Number 20 for Shirley Boyst. Unfortunately, don't have his name down here on the program, so can't give him the kudos for that good little bit of extra there. As we just see uh, area there, ball just going to ground. <coughs> Couldn't quite grasp it. John McGlashan, bit of a um, grinding period here. Both teams just getting through some sets. Nine minutes to go. And I think these next few minutes of the last part of the second half here will be huge. Unfortunately, another error there. Um, unfortunately, John McGlashan just can't quite get down into the half to be able to show the strike power that we know that they've got through the likes of Thompson and Alex. And we've got many others down there that I know we can sort of get a great finish from them. So as we see Shirley boys coming through, checking through to the deepest point. They'll look to get to their seven and set up another strike play here. Newton yep, Newton and Costley, they were the ones who set up the last try of the first half. They're here again. Great footwork. <clears throat> you couldn't see it in the background, but just why the Shirley team was on attack there, the coach, Damian Burden, got his team together in the sump box and just seemed to really clearly lay out a few things in a nice, calm manner. And so it'll be interesting to see now. The John McGlashan team coming on now. What is it that they come into after they've just had those wise words from the coach? Yes, and as you say, um, a very great observation there of, of Damo. He is very good at that nice calming nature that he carries with him. As we see his boys turn around, unfortunately not quite executing there. But as you say, Damo is a huge asset for any team in the, his approach to coaching and um, creates a very, very level-headed approach. Good D from the Shirley boys. <clears throat> Work their way out. Pace just dropped off a little bit in that transition period. As you see on the camera here, on the might have just seen it, a little peek in the corner of the Shirley boys' box. You've got all their boys right at the end of the sub box, all very eager to get on. As we see the six men take the field here, the ball back in the hands of Atkinson, and I think he's done it again. <laughs> He doesn't need a move set up by the team. Just give it to him and he'll make something oh, exactly. out of nothing. First two times for himself and this time for his mate, the number 20, out on the wing for Shirley, boys, as he gets it again here just on the outside. So much gas. That's what makes it look easy. Good draw and pass. Winger really had no chance, a defensive winger. And a great try there. 7-3. Shirley, boys, six and a half to go in the second half. 
of our last live stream game here in day one of the 2023 Bunning Touch Nationals in Rotorua. John McGlashan, straight back into it. Oh, just too many areas, areas, just too many areas, eh, that are sort of unfortunately hampered them from being able to really express themselves in attack and, and give themselves the best chance they can to get across the line. Yeah, no, absolutely. And earlier in the game, I spoke about those one percenters. We see another mistake here. Both sides guilty of them at the moment in the second half. And both coaches will be wanting to clean up these 1% errors that seem to be creeping in the game a little bit too much, especially going into game two, and uh, sorry, day two, and again, day three, the business end of the tournament. Oof. He's the man. If I'm on the field with Thompson, I'm getting him some way, shape, or form involved in this, whether it be a long left or right pass or getting him to go under. Ooh. A great read there by the Shirley Boys winger. Zero touch. Let's see how many of these they get. They work themselves away. Over to the box. Here's the man with more gas than is fair to have. So we see them marching their way up to the half. A little bit of a bobble there in the ruck, but I've gotten away with it. As we see their next strike set coming on. The strike plant probably a little bit too far this way of the half, but that's fine. They end well, close to their box, making the John McGlashan boys have to work just as hard to get across to the other side of their box. Yeah, totally right. Second best outcome is always to ensure you give the ball away at the right end of the field if you're not going to get the touchdown. So we see Casey, nice strong drive. Yeah, just affected a touch a little bit too much there. I wondered if he was going to get away with that. So that was a nice call there from Tony Arnell. Here's the other man that's been doing all the scoring or setting up for the John McGlashan team. Alex looking to get on the ball again. Looking up to set up his mate. Gets on the outside. Ball down. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. A great, a great look of attack there. And I think our on-field referee has seen something different to what we've seen in the box here. I'll speak for yourself there, Sean. Obviously, you <laughs> thought it was a try. I got the rest back. Yeah, no, but hey, that's totally fine. <laughs> I'm always going to think it's a try being a player myself, but they get the rewards in the end there and uh, a great try nonetheless. Obviously, he didn't want to let Zach Cunningham score because he needed Alex to score so we could get to see the post-try celebrations as he gets up and gives it a whopping big boot back to the middle. Yeah, just a yeah. great play in the middle there. Sees the defender fly at link, uses his footwork to evade him, and dives under well. A great try again to Alex there from John McGlashan. Just the speed, just like what we saw in the last try, getting on the outside of the defender. Really, really good work. Newton back on the ball again. We see him working quite often now in the second half with Sulu. Feeds it back to Newton. Driving in. Got a back door there, number 14. Stepping on the outside. Did he get him? Yeah, touch made. Good lift there from the link of uh, John McGlashan there. He uh, used great footwork on the, the backtracking defender, and our link has just made quite a good lift to make an effective touch there. Wind's definitely got up here. We've gone from sun umbrellas to block the sun to everyone's got a hoodie and a jacket on. Yeah, no, the weather definitely taking a turn, but these boys will keep trucking along for the last three minutes of this half here. As we see a great scoop out of the half. Numbers on the left side, and a great stop there by the number 16, Walter Stevenson. Needed to be made there by Shirley Boys. Yeah, equally good attack and defense, but awesome there from the winger. Stopping a certain try. Well, Glashen still with the ball. Back into the middle, Cunningham. Oof. Oh, hard done by there, I think. He, ball did definitely travel forward, but hey, a great try had it not. Uh, a, a real attacking threat there was Zach Cunningham. Probably, again, back to those one percenters, just a little bit of those those balls at the ruck. Um, the refs see everything, and unfortunately, just not taking that step forward from the ruck to give that ball a backwards pass meant that it was called a penalty. Nice strong touch there from Casey. Ooh, Link just gets on the outs. <laughs> and a big slam dunk finish there by the number nine. Bolton, clear as day. Strides on through and a big slam dunk to finish. Liam Bolton, here he is just on the outside, 1,000 miles an hour. I'm not even sure you'd call that a slam dunk. 
No, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what that is. I felt sorry for the ground, which yeah. you just smashed yeah. that ball into. Yeah, no, absolutely. But hey, a try, but be careful of your shoulder there, Liam. Jackson Thompson, number 14, he's out on this. Oh, there's our man. Defence just tight enough to prevent that try, but I'm sure he'll look to get the ball back again in the final strike play of this set. There he is on the ball again. Oh, and there he goes. As simple as that. We've spoken about it. Our ball players seem to... just seems like they've just got all the time in the game. They find their option. They see their vision. And they set up a great try there. It was Alex. Two is number 14. Thompson again. A great partnership they've got going there. Yeah, I like his game. Particularly this game. Giving it to him. And just using his length. He's also got a massive left to right pass too. So I think in the games tomorrow he'll probably be used a little bit more as we see Curran and Casey they've been working together both on attack and defence this last five minutes oh great recovery there from Casey was beaten initially but just had that athleticism to be able to get back up, recover, make a great touch yes and very well handled there by the referee, he saw the clear touch there and he's explained it all to the players very well officiated and he's heard a call here from the sideline I believe forward pass I'd say Casey taps the ball into our last 16 seconds of our last game of day one. Just a big shout out to all the comms team, all the camera crew, our producers, our executives for day one. Make it such an enjoyable experience, don't they, Sean, to be part of the team. And well done to you today, bud. First well, thank day. you very much. Sound like you've been doing it for years. <laughs> Carrying the team, as we see here, John McGlashan. Here's my man again. Oh, give him the try. Oh, hard done by there. A great finish to what was a very great game. He called it all. Hey, fuck on Mutsunga, then Nada. He mehi nui nui kinga kai takaro, kinga kai mataki, kinga kai tau toko katsua. Kia pai o koutou po. Kote kemu fuck on Mutsunga. Shirley Boys taking the win there. Um, thank you very, very much for tuning in today. Uh, have a great night. Noho ora mai. Kia pai o koutou po. Hei a po po.